In Dane County, we're committed to a clean energy future. We're addressing climate change right here on the local level. We've invested in efficiency, in solar power, and we're investing in other projects with partners throughout the county to show that you can develop clean alternative fuels while at the same time doing the right thing by our taxpayers. And our landfill is one of the most progressive in the nation. We're capturing methane, we're fueling vehicles, we're generating renewable electricity, and we're about to undergo an exciting transformation. I hope you enjoy this video that's going to tell you more about this exciting project that's underway. Generation after generation, family after family, the greatest legacy of Dane County's wholesome, healthy quality of life has always been our wealth of natural resources. Fish-filled lakes, rivers and streams, and beautifully preserved parks. But with riches come responsibilities. The families, corporate citizens, and institutions of this community entrusted us, their Dane County government, to protect this environment and preserve these natural treasures for future generations. To honor that trust at the highest level, the Dane County Office of Energy and Climate Change was founded in 2017. This body is empowered to define, develop, and deploy the action strategies required to do Dane County's part in adapting to the impact of our changing climate by reducing carbon emissions. The momentum of this mission is growing. Dane County is now home to many of the largest solar arrays in the state of Wisconsin. The sun has always shone on Dane County, but now it is also providing over 600 kilowatts of 100% emission-free electricity at 14 sites, which include the new Dane County East District Highway Garage and Medical Examiner's facility, comprising the second largest municipally owned solar project in Wisconsin. The Dane County Regional Airport, where we are working with partners to develop 41 acres of airport-owned land into a large-scale 8,000 kilowatt solar farm. This will be the third solar installation on the airport campus, which the county already uses to offset energy costs. This new solar farm will be 80 times larger than the other two existing solar installations at the airport. The Dane County Job Center will be the county's 16th solar installation. When completed, these projects are expected to generate over 10 million kilowatt hours each year of power. Also included is the Lyman F. Anderson Agricultural and Conservation Center. Another priority for the county is cleaning up the lakes. Protecting the purity of our beaches and lake waters, environmental media filters called beach curtains now shield recreational areas from runoff pollutants. To reduce algae, another innovative initiative called Suck the Muck is now permanently removing decades of phosphorus latent sediment from 33 miles of waterways feeding the lakes of Dane County. The effects of climate change are undeniable. Weather events historically categorized in 10 or 100 year cycles now happen multiple times a year. Dane County's lakes now freeze weeks later and thaw weeks earlier than they did as recent as the 1990s. And we are launching additional innovations proven to reduce Dane County's carbon footprint while also reducing our energy costs. Among these innovations is our commitment to accelerate the conservation of Dane County's fleet. So far, we've converted 75 vehicles, including one-third of its highway fleet, from fossil fuels to clean-burning compressed natural gas, known in energy parlance as CNG, or as we'll be calling it from this point forward, RNG, for renewable natural gas. RNG is a truly renewable resource, unlike many other fuel sources that come with harmful effects associated with procuring them. This vehicle energy conversion initiative dovetails with Dane County's newest and perhaps most exciting environmental game changer, which we are very pleased to share with you today. First, let's talk some basic science and some real world economics. Like all modern landfills, the natural biological decomposition process at Dane County's operation on Highway 1218 produces a gas called biogas. Biogas is about 50% methane. The energy source known as natural gas is 98% methane. So, biogas possesses the potential to be used as an energy source once impurities are removed. Most landfills just burn off their biogas, which is required by law. 
But for the past 23 years, the methane in Dane County's biogas has been harnessed to generate renewable electricity, which in turn has been sold to local utilities. As a result, this process has provided enough renewable electricity to power 4,000 Dane County homes 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. While this project has served us well, we now have an opportunity to further our economic and environmental gains while ensuring that our own energy needs continue to be met in a responsible, sustainable way. This new initiative is the first in the nation, a $28 million project that we're happy to share with you today. Obviously, there are countless technical and economic aspects to a plan of this scope, but for the sake of discussion, let's look at the four basic components. One, we will build an on-site facility, which will enable us to refine all of our biogas, 50% methane, into pipeline-grade natural gas, 98% methane. Two, we will convert our refined gas to renewable natural gas, a highly coveted vehicle fuel, because of its minimal environmental impact and maximum efficiency. Three, we will inject this refined gas directly into the ANR Trans-Canada Transmission Pipeline. Dane County will be the only renewable energy producer from Wisconsin to put gas into this pipeline. Our proximity to this energy superhighway is a major plus. It runs directly under our landfill property. Our RNG will be sold on the open market and be used to propel our own Dane County service fleet. Four, our new system will also have an offloading station that will enable regional biogas digesters from Wisconsin's dairy farmers and other agribusiness sources to truck their gas to our facility and use our pipeline interconnect. This will be the first project in the nation to have this capability. This has the potential to significantly improve the economics of digesters. This could lead to more area digesters, which will help lead to cleaner lakes. Centralized offloading will significantly boost the economic and ecological viability of biogas digesters while further protecting the natural purity of Dane County's recreational lakes and waterways. The economic impact of our plan is significant. Renewable fuels are incentivized by both federal and state programs. And the investment will yield enough gas and service generated revenue to pay off the initial project costs in three years. After that, the operation will generate several million dollars each year, which will go directly to Dane County's general fund. This would otherwise be funded by taxpayer revenues. Not only will this project create jobs and keep skilled workers in Wisconsin, the RNG itself will become a continual resource that provides energy independence while lessening our dependence on foreign sources of fuel. Considering the fact that $12 billion leave Wisconsin for fuel every year, the impact of our keeping those dollars here is fairly evident. The environmental impact is even more profound. RNG from our landfill, used to fuel our own county fleet and countless other vehicles, will have an 88% reduction in carbon emissions when compared to gasoline or diesel fuels. This will help improve air quality here in Dane County. In its first 12 months of operation, now slated to start in 2019, we will displace almost 3 million gallons of gasoline and diesel fuel per year with clean, renewable fuel from landfill biogas. As our landfill operations grow, this will increase to more than 4 million gallons of renewable fuel per year. To provide some perspective, that is the equivalent of removing 7,500 cars from the road every single year. To summarize this introductory overview, let me offer the following, which I think sums up the spirit of this next chapter in Dane County's ongoing quest for a cleaner environment through economic innovation. The measure of who we are is what we do with what we have. I wish I could claim that wisdom, but another Wisconsin guy named Vince Lombardi beat me to it. The truth in it, however, belongs to everybody who lives in and loves our Dane County community and all it stands for. The measure of who we are here in Dane County is what we are now doing for our community, our environment, our families, and our future. <laughs>